Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 15th of August. I'm going to give you the key strands to look out for, but please stay with me. I will then dive deep to share with you each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces in greater detail. Now this is a week when Mars is very much at the center of the celestial story. And this is because he is going to be moving into a new home on Saturday. But Mars usually takes 45 days or six weeks to transit through each zodiac sign. But when it moves into Gemini on Saturday, it's going to be there for seven months and six days. So a really extended uh, period of time. This is because every two years, Mars goes into a retrograde. Last time, it was in the sign it governs of Aries. This time, Gemini, very much about we, how we interact, particularly in terms of our communication, can bring more drama, can also push us to get a bit fitter and more active in the months to come. However, this week does begin with a rather limiting opposition between the Sun and Saturn. Perhaps there's a relationship issue that does need very carefully considering. But Mars is going to be squaring up with the Sun this week and also embracing the quarter moon in Taurus on Friday. And that's saying to us not to be, in too, not to be too impulsive when it comes to our romantic situation. Funnily enough, Venus, also in the glamorous Leo, along with the Sun, is forging a beautiful link with Jupiter, the planet of fortune. Now, maybe it's the case that with Jupiter going backwards, we could be feeling a little bit less optimistic, but these two planets are known as the greater and lesser benefits. So the two planets of fortune. So something positive can still come through at the heart of this week. But it is true that Mercury, in its home zone of Virgo, does go into an opposition with Neptune later this week. So if we are planning anything that requires some precision, we really need to concentrate. But if there is something we want to work towards that's much more tangible, the angle between Mars and Pluto before it moves into Gemini is actually very, very good for worldly stuff as long as we use the passion and power of that combination in the right kind of way. So we're not trying to just get what we need from a situation, but if we work in a productive way and very systematic and step by step, the passion and the willpower of that combination can really bring some results. But later in the week, yes, we have that uh, uh, transition of Mars into Gemini. Now, if you'd like to check out my deep dive video, please see the link beneath this video. But also on Saturday, Mercury enters its shadow period. It won't go into retrograde in the sign of Libra until the 9th of September, but it is going to next week uh, move into the sign of Libra. It's in Virgo at the moment. So just be aware that when it comes to those communications, the need for clarity is vital, but the passion of Mars moving into Gemini will certainly give us all a little bit more uh, capacity to articulate our ideas or ventilate uh, our ideas in a positive way and please stay with me now for each of your 12 zodiac signs if you would like to embrace more serious astrology if you give me three pieces of personal birth data of time date and place of birth i can give you a roadmap that can guide you for the rest of your life also my special package of 30 percent off if you order now I'll give you your year 2023 personal forecast plus the rest of this year three. Please see the link beneath this video. And finally, I've raced through the 101,000 subs mark. I'd be so grateful if you've yet to subscribe if you did so now. 
If you have already, thank you so much for your support, but please click or tap on the bell notification symbol if you've yet to do so. So Taurus, your week commencing the 15th of August forecast sees that cluster of energy that built to a crescendo in your sign at the end of last month and the start of this month. We're seeing Mars preparing to move on from your sign. But everything you've been doing for the last five weeks that's particularly individualistic has a wonderful chance to still come through by this week's end because of the angle between Mars and Pluto, the planet of change and transformation. So your thrust and determination can be extraordinary from that particular pair. Now, of course, your ruler Venus is now in the home zone for you, the fourth house, along with the sun. But it is linking very, very well with Jupiter, which may be in retreat, but that's in your 12th house. Someone within your family or someone that you're very close to could provide some big support this week. It could be psychological. It could be a gift. It could even be uh, an item of furniture or a, a, a desire to help you decorate. But some kind of support can really be lovely at the heart of this week. It's just that balancing what you need from your home situation with your professional situation could make you feel a bit tense at the start of this week because of the sun's opposition to the retreating Saturn. And also because Mars is in a square to uh, the sun uh, and as well as Saturn, the T square we have means that if you are a little bit impatient, whether it is towards those professional hopes or any changes you want to make at home or any emotional issues you want to address, then that could spoil what can be a very promising week. So the quarter moon which occurs in your sign on Friday, which does cluster with Mars, so joins in in this T-square, is something that requires a bit of delicacy. And it's just understanding that what you want as an individual is actually good for you in a more emotional context. Because sometimes when we get a desire or a goal in our minds, the drive to get there can see us move forwards quite quickly. But I, I really think it should be a case of security first this week. And the angle between Mars and Pluto, which is so driven and powerful, should be just something that you, you're enjoying, particularly if you're demonstrating some creativity or individuality. And that itself will find an outlet. So once Mars makes its way, into Gemini as the week comes to a close, there could be some kind of significant financial gain at that point, or you've set the platform to make progress in that regard right through to the end of October before Mars goes into its retrograde. But of course, there is a shadow period with Mercury at the end of this week, and that's in your fifth house of uh, more playful social interaction but it is in an opposition with Neptune. Just be aware that somebody may not necessarily share your values. And it may be someone that actually you've got on well with, but perhaps there's part of their nature that they've yet to manifest that you'll become much more conscious of towards the end of this week. So a bit of a, a reality check may be needed around that as this week ends. But I still feel from your own individual uh, viewpoint, as long as you stay aware of your emotional needs, there is some other exciting change that you're driving forwards that can make significant progress.